And welcome back, everybody. Uh, thanks for sticking with us on our next episode here. Uh, we are back here in Spielberg, and for those that care, um, I did spell it correctly. Haha! -ha. From, um, of course, that's a reference to the barony of Spielberg from Quest for Glory 1 back in the day. Um, so, here we go. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Our Omega Co city that does not have Omega Co yet. Um, we just put in some new uh, housing areas over here, so yay. Um, I will be able, actually, um, once once we get the schools upgraded uh, to a high school, I'll be able to fill in these roads again and fix that. Um, so one of the things I'm going to try to do is say um a lot less. <laughs> um, and you'll note that I actually... Uh, I tried to record, you know, as many episodes at a time, um, so I kind of keep my mind going on what I was working on. Um, I did reset, restart the game, though, to take a little bit of a break, uh, and so these quests are going to pop back up again. How annoying is that? I also have the sound on, um, so you may hear it now. Uh, I usually turn the sound off on, these, on this game just because, um, you know, hearing the same sounds over and over again can be a little annoying. Um, but, uh, again... We'll see what happens. Okay, so we're bringing in about four thousand an hour. Uh, we have just under twenty thousand people. Everything is, seems to be hunky dory, uh, with the exception of complaining. Oh, unemployment crisis. Oh, that's a new one. More workers than there are jobs. Yeah, that's a problem. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Still, still two hundred thirty-two um, medium wealth jobs available. Uh, yeah, 1,400 unemployed. That is not good. Let's see what the police department is. You're not keeping up with crime. Hmm. All right. Yeah, we could use... I don't know why you're not keeping up with crime. There's only four criminals and no crimes committed per day. But sure, I'll give you an extra police lot. I don't have a problem doing that. Okay, we do need to do something about uh, this uh, job crisis. So, um, hmm. All right, we got 70,000. I think let's... Let's let's give it a shot. Let's let's try let's try the Omega Co. So we're gonna plop in a trade depot. Um, where do I want to put that? I want it someplace that's gonna have easy access to the road, so they can get in and out, but that also easy access to the Omega Co. And I don't want to put the Omega Co. Factory there. Um, <laughs> and I was gonna put it in a cross avenue, wasn't I? And I didn't do that. I could take that out though and put it up there. But that's not going to solve my problem, is it? Um, they come in, they go all the way up, they make a left, uh, and then a right. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm, all right, that's not a bad idea. All right, so you know what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pause this for a minute. I'm, I'm giving you some accents now. All right, here we go. Um, all right, we're going to pause this. I'm going to take this this road out. Bear with me. Um, okay. And we're going to put in an avenue instead. Uh, but I think that means I'm going to need to expand it a little bit so that it fits. Hey now, what's going on? Oh, roads overlap. You are a real pain in the butt. Um, <laughs> okay. I do that. I got to fix this road here. Okay. And then we're going to do that on this side. Um, yes, that is a problem. Alright. We're getting there. We are getting there. Actually, let me clean up some of those there. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. We're going to have to uh, futz around with that road. Um, I don't want to, clearly, I don't want to get rid of it because I have to rebuild all that. And we just don't have the money right now. When I do uh, go to rebuild it, I will rebuild it. Um, let's just. Um, all right, let's just do this. This is not to make people drive down this road, I don't think. Um, so I'm not really concerned. We're just going to do that. And uh, hopefully that won't be an issue. Okay, great. So now back to what I was doing. I did that because I wanted, I did want to have a cross avenue going uh, through this city this way as well, as opposed to just this way to help alleviate some traffic. Um, as because as the city gets bigger and we start expanding up here, um, there's just going to be a lot more traffic. 
Uh, I also wanted to make sure I had the trade depot put in on um, on an avenue, um, so that's a little bit of a faster route for them. Okay. Excuse me. I'm gonna leave the. I usually don't leave the freight um, lot, but because we're having so many problems with freight right now, I'm going. To, I'm going to leave it. Uh, and then we need to put in an ore, a raw ore, and a uh, crude oil uh, lot to import. Um, hmm, I'm going to put on an extra truck. Um, oh, sure, I'll put on a sign. Why not? I wish they would change the signs. Like, you'd change the name of the company and, you know, Bob's Trade Company or something. I don't know. Just, you know, a little bit more personalization. Um... All right, so manage. So we're going to import um, both oil. Oops, that's export. Import oil and crude oil. Oil and ore. Right. Import oil and ore. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Um, then that leads me over here to Omega Co. And we're going to put in our first Omega Co. factory. Uh, now I actually am wondering if I should put it in over here or over here um, instead of down here. Just because it's closer to uh, the trade depot. And uh, I don't want there to be problems. Um, yeah, let's, let's put it in over here. Uh, now you can upgrade this with additional um, production lines. They're 25000 each, uh, so we're not going to do that because we don't have enough money yet. Um, but then once you start upgrading, get the drones, and there's the VTOLs that I love that we don't have yet. Um, Alright, so anyways, we've got one. Um, that should start us off nice and easy. Let's get this playing again. And, uh, alright, we'll see how it goes. Look at how quickly the uh, the trade lot here the fr for freight filled up. Isn't that crazy? They look like little ants running around in here. Hey ants, get out of my trade depot. What's going on? Yeah, whoa. Hello. <laughs> that was the sky. Alright. Yeah, see look how much traffic is now on this road. Uh, because of that upgrade. Oh, and that reminds me. I need to... Uh, rezone because I did not zone anything on the on those um on that road now so we're just gonna clean that up boom boom and all right so bah, 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 bah. we need 30,000 to get the next uh, haul upgrade um, 30,000 people that is wow look how many people work they need ore well you're importing it, right? We will see. And you're doing that. Let's see where we are. I know we had some... Yeah, wow. Whoa. Um, that's interesting. So, we had more than 1,000 people unemployed. We're now down to um, just under 400 unemployed. Although that number seems to be going up again. Um, but we have, look how many available medium wealth jobs we have. I'm not sure, um, who has those jobs? Where are they coming from? Is that from commercial? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Well, we put in the trade depot and the mega coast so that should have, that, that filled up a bunch of those jobs. And as we add, um, Production lines, I think they'll help with um, jobs as well. Uh, we did get, get a notification. We the Omega Co. quest we were on, we we did um, we, we we successfully did it. We didn't get too much money from that, um, but it was something. We now currently seem to be having a oh no that went away. What was the problem? We don't know. But uh, all right, here's uh, classrooms are full. Yeah, look at that. We've doubled um, the number of students in the city. And uh, we have not increased classroom size. We right now um, we're making five grand an hour, but uh, uh, all right. Well, monthly profit in transactions is still good, although some of that's from a mission reward. Um, 
Whew, look at all that. See, this is what I was talking about when, you know, hesitant to jump right into it. Um, because you start importing and filling up your trade depot with the stuff. And uh, if you're not making enough money um, to counteract that, the cost of importing that, it, your, your city just goes bankrupt and spirals into oblivion. Uh, we are thankfully making enough money. Um, we're making almost 6000 an hour. And really, the number you want to look at is right here. Um, which is your monthly profit and transactions. Now I see our monthly transactions is really high in the negative. Really high in negative? That doesn't sound right. Well, all right, whatever. Um, <clears throat> we'll want to come back, though, uh, and take a look at this uh, the next month because this includes a mission reward. Um, so that might this might be off a little bit. But we're going to keep an eye on that just to make sure we stay solvent. Uh, as you can see, our money is really low here but we're making quite a bit of profit uh for a city this size every month so anyway we'll see what happens um okay so uh i saw a quest come up here and i didn't grab it and now it seems to have disappeared hmm oh well um let's take a look and see how well our Mega Co Factory is doing. All right, all right, all right, all right. Good, good, good. Um, well, we can take a look. One of the important things to note is when you're doing Omega Co, is you do want to take a look at the Omega Co tab down here. There's some great information on the franchises. Uh, and if you've not used Omega Co before, um, well, well, one of the things you'll notice is that Omega Co futurizes um, its streets and cities. Um, so that's something to take note of. But one of the how Omega Co basically works is. The Megaco factory produces a Megaco, and then a Megaco is shipped to the, your industrial industrial buildings, and uh, and that's this percentage over here. So 27% of our industry wow I can't say industrial our industrial buildings are a Megaco right now, and of course you want 100% because when you get to 100% you make money uh, because they're franchises. So when a industry becomes a Megaco company, it becomes a franchise of a Megaco, and you make money. Uh, an hourly profit off that Omega Co. Uh, franchise. And so as the industries become Omega Co. Omega co Let's say that's a word. Um, then when they're shipping their freight out to the commercial uh, businesses, they those commercial businesses then get converted into franchises as well. And that's that commercial percentage that you see down here. Um, and then there's an, a, a following step to that is is the residential. Now, the residential you have to have drones in order to convert residential into um, Omega Co customers, and uh, there's another level of like gold customers, which you can see residential gold members, um, where you're making even more money off of them. In order to do that, you need um, you need uh, Omega Co factories that are producing drones. So right now, our Omega Co factory is producing Omega. Um, there's, as you, when we take a look, if you take a look at the, um, this here is a drone assembly line. So once you get the HQ built and you add the robotics division, you can get the drone assembly line and then you can build an Omega Co factory that produces drones. And that's how you'll convert um, all your residences into, um, or your residential areas into Omega Co and start making more money that way. But you'll see that the industrial and the commercial numbers are going to fluctuate um, as far as percentages go of course as you you know remove and build more um, cities but also as um, excuse me as you move and build more um, regions and, and, and whatnot within your city uh, that that will grow um, the thing to can keep in mind is um, it, it, you you want to try to get to 100 but anyway that's that's probably a clear 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 goal here. Um, so as you can see, our, our, our money is really fluctuating. Um, we are bringing in 8000 an hour, um, but because of the imports over here, we're actually, um, we're, we're, it's kind of, money's really jumping up and down. Uh, so here's the next Omega Co. Um, people love it. Great, great, great. Can't get enough. Build more than you ever have before. Okay, well, that should be that hard. Here's another one. Oh, they got two of them. Let's see what we got going here. More income, yes, we could. 
More factories, yes. Okay. So, convert... I love, and you know what's great about some of these reward, these quests too, is that you accept the quest and you've already met all the goals, so then it's just free money. Like, you just get the money. Um, I mean, it's like, why, why, why would you not do that? You know, just bring them in. Just bring them in, uh, get the free money, move on. Omega deliveries are slow. This is, this is a, a common problem, um, with Omega Co. And there is... I'm sure there's a way to optimize it so that it works better than what I do. Um, basically, essentially, what's happening is you know the Omega Co is not getting for the Omega is not getting from the factory to the industry fast enough. And if that happens, if it's too slow, the industry stops being um, an Omega franchise and goes out of business. Uh, so you lose it. So you have to be producing enough Omega, but you also have to be delivering enough Omega in order to uh, maintain your your, your franchises. Uh, that said, there are no, um, you know, like most factories or buildings um, that you add in that are like these specializations uh, have um, trucks that you can add. Oh, not, not, delivery is too slow? All right, add a truck. Uh, Omega Co. does not have that. There are no trucks um, to add. And you can see them coming out of the little assembly lines here. So each, like, assembly line you add, I guess, has, you know, a truck or two in it. Um, but there's no way to add additional trucks. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, that, you know, it, so essentially to solve this problem is you just need more more factories. And matter of fact, we have about 60,000. Um, and I know when I do this, it's going to increase our usage of um, of the ore and oil, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> We're still making money, and this is going to make us, get us to make more money. So that's what I want to do. Um, <laughs> I see a burned down building over here. At least it's a fire, not a another problem. Uh, okay, schools are still an issue. We know. We know, we know, we know. I hear Omega Co. was considering a robotics division. Yes. Yes, we are. Eventually, we will have one. Thanks for speculating. Uh, you know what I realized is that we put in this utilities uh, town hall upgrade, and then we never built the sewage uh, or water plants, and that's going to be an issue, I think, with the Omega Co. Um... So, that's, uh, that's going to be a problem. We're going to have to take care of that. Uh, right, we're not going to do the hot air balloon park one, uh, as we said before. Uh, I just don't think hot air balloons going through this kind of dark city um, really works. Boom, and there we go. We got um, petition to build the Omega Co. factory, um, excuse me, the Omega Co. headquarters. So, boom, there it is. It's huge. Huge. I think I'm going to stick it here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like it there. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it right there. Okay. There it is. It's so pretty. Now, we can't... Um, can't add anything to it yet, but uh, the as, like, most headquarters, there's a multiple... Um, divisions you can add on, so you can add in the robotics division, which allows you to make the drones. Um, there's also drone add-ons for like your hospital and your fire department, your police department. Uh, when you have the bigger ones, not the small small buildings, um, and so that helps out there as well. Uh, the extraction division, which is great because that gives you the ability to bring in. Um, uh, instead of building like a huge oil field, you can put in like one little um, oil rig, I guess you would call it, and uh, and just pump the oil out and, and through a pipe go directly to the factory. Kind of cool. Um, and then of course there's the commerce division, which I think they all have, and that just this is actually the commerce division is what gives you access to the VTOLs. And in fact, if you have a um, the trade port you can add VTOLs to the trade port um, so that you don't have to deal with the trucks and helps alleviate some traffic and all that good stuff. All right, so we've got the headquarters in. Um, we've got two little Omega uh, lines uh, going and uh, we're making about 10,000 an hour. 
uh, monthly profit is 122 and that's not taking in that's only with the 2500 dollars mission reward so we're we're doing good we're making bank now um, I'm very very happy about that and we just did another uh, mission, uh, mega mission complete, where we're going to get a chunk of change. Yeah, 25. All right. All right, well, we got a problem over here. What's going on? Oh. What? Not enough medium wealth shoppers. Well, all right. You know what? Actually, um, yeah, you know what? Uh, you are right, because we've got a lot of medium wealth jobs and not enough medium wealth people, and we have too many um, low wealth. So... Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some upgrades here and get some more medium wealth folks in. And because we've already got it kind of growing here, I think we're gonna start converting this area over here. So let's take a look uh, what we've got. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. what do I want to put in? We got here colorful park. Um, how about uh, how about a sculpture? Large sculpture garden. That might be too big. Mm, we'll give it a shot. Oh, yeah, well, well, that... Whoa. whoa. Overambitious with scrolling today. All right. That did good. That really... That filled up a huge area. Um, well, it gave us some more medium wealth in here. We got to get this little section uh, as well. Um, uh, no, 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 no. Large... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, how about some green space? How's... Oh, that's... That was kind of shitty. Uh, part of my language. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Uh, you know what? That's a high wealth. That's my fault. Ay, ay, ay. That's what I get for not paying attention. Oops. I wanted to go to sports. That's what I wanted to go to. And people are going to be sad. I'm sorry, guys. Don't be sad. I'm going to have to knock all those down now. Let me put that in. Let me fix the <laughs> the high wealth problem I caused. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. All right. We have a sewage problem. Oh, uh, yeah, we do. Okay. Um, all right. So now it's time for me to um, build the sewage treatment plant, which is so expensive. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, first, I'm going to extend that road out. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build a new... Um, whoa. A new road to put this stuff on. Um, eventually, I, I think eventually I'm going to move the power plant, um, go to a different power plant, maybe, uh, and move the garbage dump. So I'm going to plan for that now by putting it all the way out here in the corner. Or at least putting the... Oh, you know what? That's... That's not a good... That's not a good place for that road. Um, that doesn't leave me enough space to put something on the other side. Hmm. Hmm, 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 Because eventually we'll want to put the water... Um, the water pumping station in the same spot. Uh, so that has to be a little bit... Right. A little bit south of that. Um, blah, 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 blah. So let's go here. That should be good. And then we'll just clean off that road end. All right. Sewage. Back to what I was doing. Sewage plant. Hey, guess what? There's an earthquake. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Let's take out these little sewage things before I forget as the ground starts rumbling. Do, 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 do. See, this is what's cool here with the Red, the Re uh, Red Cross Relief Center is uh, they set up tents. So if we go over, whoa, that's a massive area. Um, we're gonna have to do a lot of demolishing. But if you come over here, look at the the tents all get set up. Um, they put tents over here on the, um, the the city hall. There's some over at the police department and the fire department. Oh, jail cells are almost full. We're, 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 we're. See now we're not um, we're not educating everybody, so crime and 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 whatnot's gonna start going up. All right, we need to... Oh, I just put in that baseball field. Oh, man. Ay, ay, ay. And if you notice, Progressive also paid, uh, you know, a claim. I didn't see how much it was. It's usually not very much. Uh, I 
think the coverage is set to 50%. You can make it higher, but then your um, but then your premium, of course, goes up. You know, just like it does in the real world. Um, all right, so let me replace this baseball field. How annoying! And of course, we can't get to everything. Um, you know, I should put it over here. I know that's uh, you know what's going to happen if I do that. All right, I'm keep it there. Um, and we're going to end part one right here for episode three. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going to do some clean up and take out uh, some of these burned down uh, and brambled uh, buildings, and we'll be right back with part two as I split up this video. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to share the video. Let me know how you like it in the comments and any questions or suggestions you have. Thank you.